also today, actually a Patreon requested this, Elias requested I do a uh, video on fragrance-free dupes for Tatcha products, which actually came at a great time because I just noticed Tatcha increased their prices on quite a few of their products. So also keep in mind when I mentioned the price, they're probably going to be different than what I mentioned because I've been working on this for quite some time because I've got dupes for, I've got, I don't know, 5 million products lined up here. So bear with me and I will link to everything below. So, okay. First, and arguably one of their most popular products, their water cream. I've tried it. I enjoy it. It has some fragrance in it. Uh, 1.7 ounces retails for about $69, which may be increased. People love it. Oil-free texture, smooths over skin easily, sets to a natural finish, but it is expensive and probably even more expensive now. So some fragrance-free and more affordable alternatives. The Claire's Fundamental Water Gel Cream. This stuff is really nice. No fragrance in it. Also has some similarities. Uh, most of these are going to be dupes because they have nearly similar, a lot of similar ingredients. Uh, another good one, uh, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Uh, but get the one for very dry skin because that one is fragrance free. Otherwise, you're defeating the purpose of not having fragrance if you get the other version. Um, so we've got that. The First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream is also really nice. I uh, know scent to it, a little bit more affordable. I've repurchased this one as well, so uh, that makes it nice because I I must like it because I've repurchased it. And then last but not least, uh, the Inky List Omega Water Cream, which is also really nice, shorter ingredient list, but much more affordable. And I like this. It's got a little advantage because it's in a squeeze tube compared to the other products. Okay, I'm just going to roll on to the next one. Lincoln was here for a moment. Lincoln is bored now. Okay, next up, uh, we've got the Dew Cream. And I think I've got dupes for 12 Tatcha products. They obviously have more, but I'm focusing on the skincare side as opposed to like the makeup side. Okay, so dupes for the Dewy Skin Cream. Uh, geared towards drier skin types. This cream is love for its hydration as well as plumping effect on dry skin. 1.7 ounces, $69. We'll see if that holds true or not. Okay, so first dupe, the D'Alba Piedmont No Sebum Repair Cream. I will mention this one has a light fragrance in it. It's a little bit more affordable, but it does have a light uh, herbal scent to it. Uh, the Skin Fix Barrier Lipid Peptide Repair Cream. This one, uh, Skin Fix has gotten pretty expensive lately. They just released a serum which is actually a good dupe for the Dewy Skin Serum from Tatcha, ironically, and that retails for $70. So I don't know if Skin Fix is going to be uh, held up as an affordable brand, but uh, anyway, it's fragrance-free, so it's a little bit more sensitive skin-friendly. We've got the A2 Day Moistful Collagen Cream, which is fragrance-free. I really enjoy this one, and it's much more affordable. And then last but not least, the Clinique 100-Hour Moisture Surge Repair Moisturizer. The 100-hour thing, I just, just ignore it. 100 hours means nothing. It doesn't. It doesn't mean it's going to moisturize you for 100 hours. I have no idea why they even say that, but anyway. So I guess, you know what, for like the laziness in me, the thought that I could apply a moisturizer one day and have it sit for like a whole week and not have to do it again seems like a good, uh, a good deal. Okay. Next up, so I'll link to this below. I'll probably have to put the list also on my website, so I'll link to that because this list is going to be uh, like 11 pages long. Okay, next up we've got the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask, which I believe they raised the price of this by about a dollar or so. Uh, 0.32 ounces. It started when I did this list. It retailed for $26. Hydrating Lip Mask works great at night to hydrate lips and soften them while you sleep. I really do enjoy this stuff. I've repurchased it a few times now. So uh, here we go with a few dupes. The Then I Met You Honeydew Lip Mask. I really enjoy this one, actually. Uh, it's kind of expensive, but it, it really is a nice lip mask that you can apply at night and wake up and your lips are soft and hydrated. Another one I repurchased, the Biosense Squalane and Rose Vegan Lip Balm. This is another one I repurchased a few times. I really like it. I actually keep this on my nightstand. I had to go pull it off my nightstand, um, but I think I'm due for a new one because this one is empty. Uh, and then last but not least, the Kosas Sport Hyaluronic Lip Fuel Balm. But you got to keep in mind that this comes in shades. I think mine has a light pink shade to it. So if you just want to use it at night, you're going to want to get the clear version. So keep that one in mind. Da -da -da -da. I'm stacking, but I'm running out of space very quickly. Okay. Next up, number four... 
is the Camellia Cleansing Oil from Tatcha, which I've went through like three or four of these sample sizes of them. I love it. It's expensive though. It retails for $50 for about five ounces. Rice brand cleansing oil rinses clean, leaving new residue feeling for great makeup removing and sunscreen removing. And uh, the ones I have, I want to mention, they're similar in terms of the efficacy, how they work, they're fragrance free. They, none of these really focus on the rice bran aspect. There really weren't any dupes with the same oil cleansing texture. The Mad Hippie Cream Cleanser is ironically very similar to this, but it doesn't, it's not an oil cleanser, so it's not the same. So I want to focus on oil cleansers for this. So we've got the Laneige Cream Skin Milk Oil Cleanser, which is a little bit pricey, but not nearly up to $50 or so. That one is uh, similar, the Beauty of Josin Ginseng Cleansing Oil, and then the Peach and Lily Ginger Melt Oil Cleanser. In terms of how they work, the texture and everything else, these are very similar. The ingredients in here and the rice bran aspect of it, not so much, but there we go. And I have a couple products that I really couldn't find very good dupes for as well, so. Okay. Da -da -da. Okay, next up. This product I hated at first, the Violet C Radiance Mask. I really disliked it at first. I gave it a pretty harsh review and I ended up kind of liking it a little bit. So I actually repurchased it a couple times after my scathing review of it. Um, okay, so 1.7 ounces retails about $70, probably even more now. Rinse off clay mask with vitamin C to help brighten skin and soak up oil with gentle, uh, gentle exfoliation. <laughs> My uh, most beloved dupe for this is the Face Theory Green Tea Rescue Mask. I love this stuff. I highly recommend you give it a try. It is a wonderful clay mask. I just love using this and probably time to pick up a new one because I'm finishing it quickly. But I really do love this one. It's a nice alternative and much more affordable. You won't feel guilty rinsing it down the drain. Uh, the Biosense Squalane Glycolic Renewi Renewal Mask is also a really nice light exfoliation gentle clay mask. The Paula's Choice Clear Choice Clay Mask is a great, very affordable, also contains uh, salicylic acid in it, which makes it give you a, a kick of slight exfoliation. The Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask, also very nice. And then last but not least, the Papa Recipe Eggplant Cream Mask, which is also a really nice mud mask. So, and uh, really good Good dupes for this product and much more affordable than $70. You won't feel guilty rinsing it off at all. Oh, Ike wants to say hi to everybody. Ike's like, man, you've been recording this video for like four hours now. Anyway, okay. Next up, on to number six. Okay, the Tatcha Essence, which is another product from Tatcha. I've repurchased a few times and it's expensive. So... Full size is 5.1 ounces and retails are for $105. Uh, Pat on hydrating essence contains Saccharomyces and green tea extract. It's a pretty minimal ingredient list, uh, but yet it's freaking expensive. So uh, the first dupe is the Neogen Dermology Real Ferment Micro Essence. I don't have the bottle here because I loved it. I used it and I need to repurchase it, but it is worth it. I love it. It might even be a little bit pricey, but it's at least a third of the price of the... Um, Tatcha one. Uh, the Misha Time Revolution uh, Essence is also a good dupe. Uh, has a little bit more in terms of ingredients, but it's a nice one worth the try. And then last but not least, the Manual Bifida Biome Complex Ampule is also much more affordable and worth a try as well. These are all good dupes. The Neogen Dermology is obviously, in my opinion, the most similar one. So keep that in mind, but worth a try. Okay, there we go. Okay, number seven is the Tatcha Rice Polish Foaming Enzyme Powder, which I've tried. They have four different versions in terms of gentleness or cleansing deepness, roughness, I guess I would say. I like the gentlest one the best, but this one is also really nice. So uh, the first dupe for this one is the Derm Dermalogical Daily Micro Microfoliant which I've tried and it's okay. I don't love it, but it is very similar dupe. So keep that in mind. Uh, next up is the Tony Moly I'm From Rice Foamy Enzyme Powder. Nice product again, worth a try, very affordable. Compared to the full size of this one retails for about $70. This one retails for about $17. Uh, next up, the 
Tulsa Wong Enzyme Powder Wash is another one worth a try. Much more affordable. The ball of this one is pretty large, 70 grams. So, uh, and this one is, I believe is around $19. And then in terms of uh, formulation, it's totally different, but in terms of the actual uh, end results and how it feels on your skin, the Tula So Polished Exfoliating Sugar Scrub uh, should be mentioned here, and it's really affordable. It's it's a different formula, but it's a great result and it feels the same way on skin as the Tatcha does. Okay, moving on to number eight. This video is gonna be like 45 minutes long, but it's okay. There's no way I can get that on. Oh, it's okay. Okay, number eight is the Tatcha Rice Wash Skin Softening Cleanser, which retails for four ounces for about $38. pH neutral daily cream cleanser that gently washes away impurities without stripping skin, leaving it hydrating, hydrated, feeling soft, and looking luminous, geared towards dry, normal, and combination skin types. It's expensive for a cleanser. I mean, 40 bucks for a cleanser is a lot of money, and it goes down the drain, but I've got some alternatives. Uh, first up, the Skin Fix Foaming Oil Cleanser is really nice. It's also going to be kind of pricey, but not as expensive as Tatcha and a little bit more friendly for sensitive skin types. And this stuff does a great job removing makeup, sunscreen, anything you can imagine. The Then I Met You Soothing Tea Cleansing Gel is also nice. This one does contain a little bit of fragrance in it. Not, not as strong as Tatcha. It's barely noticeable, but it is in there. And then last but not least, again, the Mad Hippie Cream Cleanser. Uh, which is very wonderful. I'm almost finished with this one too. So this one's definitely worth checking out. So those are some good alternatives for the Tatcha rice wash. Oh, we got a mad dog in here. That's not me this time. <laughs> okay, a couple more. Thank you. The Tatcha Dewy Serum, Skin Plumping Serum, retails for one ounce for $89.00. A three-in-one serum that smooths the look of fine lines and texture with lactic acid from their Head IC3 uh, proprietary complex. Visibly plumps with hyaluronic acid and locks in moisture with squalane. Uh, the very similar dupe uh, is the Skin Fix, their new serum, which is expensive. It's $70. It's fragrance-free alternative. I haven't even tried it because it is so expensive. Uh, next up, we've got the Joy Cellulu Serum which has rose water in here, so it has a light rose scent to it. Uh, a really nice serum. They've got a cream version, and I picked up the Essence, too, from this family, so I'll review that. Uh, I'm not fond of this brand, but I'll mention it, the Slurp Hyalid uh, Essence. And then last but not least, the Tony Moly Vital Vita. They have a whole lineup. The blue version of this is very similar. The purple version, very similar. It does have fragrance in it, so I think the best dupes would probably be the Skin the Skin Fix Serum and the uh, Joy Cellulose Cell Serum. Okay, two more and then I'm done. Okay, Tatcha Deep Cleanse Cleanser. Uh, retails for five ounces for $39, a daily gel cleanser with natural fruit exfoliant that thoroughly but gently lifts impurities and unclogged pores while leaving skin soft and hydrated. I think they changed the packaging to a squeeze tube, so keep that in mind. Uh, so the first one is going to be a fragrance-free alternative, but not more affordable. I accidentally bought this when I did a bad math conversion on price, <laughs> the Augustinus Batter Cream Cleansing Gel. It's expensive. I did a bad conversion. I thought it was more affordable than it was when it was in euros or pounds. And I bought it and it was expensive and I regretted it, but it is a nice cleanser. I'll definitely finish that. Uh, we've got the Tula Cult Classic Purifying Cleansing Gel. Really nice, big seller for them. It's a wonderful cleanser. Ike is shaking the table a little bit. He scratches his chin multiple times a day. Okay, almost knocked that one over. And then last but not least, the most affordable one on this list, the Beauty of Joseon Plum Facial Cleanser. Much more affordable um, option for that. And then last but not least, I love this sunscreen. Their newest silk sunscreen. Uh, I love this one. Uh, so 1.7 ounces retails for $62. 
Liquid Radiant Finish SPF 50 Mineral Sunscreen with Smoothing Silk Extracts to Protect Skin from the Sun, Hydrate, and Visibly Even Toned Skin. Uh, good dupe for that one is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Glow SPF 50. Uh, although the Touch of Silk Sunscreen doesn't have any fragrance in it, this stuff is really nice and wonderful. Really glowy. Uh, the Ilia Beyond Triple Serum. C Beyond Triple Serum SPF 40 Mineral Sunscreen with 10% Vitamin C. The nice thing about this one is it comes in multiple shade options. Uh, the shade I have is Tone 1, so you can get different shade options. And then last but not least for that one is the Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Liquid Face Drops SPF 50, which I have tried. I really enjoy it. I have no idea what happened to it. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't think I finished it because it wasn't in my empties. I could not find it. So, But I loved it. I reviewed it. Don't know where it is. And there's a couple products that just don't have good dupes. Uh, the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, I could not have not found a good dupe for that at all. So it's a nice base mist. The Serum Stick, for what it is, it's really expensive though. I just, it's a serum in a stick that retails for like 40 some dollars. There's no real good dupe for it. The Peony Silk Eye Cream, Again, no real good dupe for it. And then the uh, Tatcha Violet C Brightening Serum, no really good dupe for that. Although, in my opinion, this one has a lot of fragrance in it. I don't even recommend it. So if there is a good dupe for it or alternative, I wouldn't even like it because it probably would be too similar to this and I just didn't like it. So anyway, these are my Tatchas. <laughs> There's more Tatcha products. If you want me to, I just tried to pick out the top 10 products most popular for them, for this brand. If there's any other Tatcha products you want dupes for, leave a comment or any other makeup or powder things, leave a comment if you want them and I can certainly do them. But this is basically for Elias, dedicated to Elias because they were the one that asked me to put this one together. So took me a while, but I finally delivered. I know you asked for it probably a couple months ago. Finally, in good timing with them, just raising the prices, so. And thank you, Matt, for leaving the comment about them raising prices because I didn't notice it until you mentioned it. So anyway, whew, thank you guys so much. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.